Choose ski clothing. Ski trips are such an event, an event to be summed up in just one word. Fun. Choosing your ski clothing can be overwhelming at times, as you know it can greatly affect the degree of fun had on a ski trip, but a few details answered can lead you in the right direction. What is your destination? Is it the northeast where it can be frigid, cold, and icy? Is it out west where it's a bit more arid and slightly warmer? These answers can help you decide on how many layers to wear, what type of material to choose, and essentially how to go about preparing for the mountain top weather in general. When shopping for ski wear, you will be met with many options. There are pants slash separates, bib suits, tight stretchy suits, etc. As long as you have an idea of temperature and weather for your destination, what kind of material density and thickness would be best, then the actual clothing is mostly personal preference. For your body, bibs have overall like straps that sit over your shoulders. They are quite comfortable as they are one piece, however, they can be a little more time consuming if you need to be able to get in or out fairly quickly. Tight suits are ideal for speed of course, but they don't work all that well for many layers. Separates are beneficial for layering and getting in and out of the clothes quickly. There are some socks that are created simply for skiing. These are the absolute best with regard to cold toes, blood circulation, and ease. They have extra padding on the shins so that your shins don't bruise. The foot area has special thickness and padding in areas as well. These are the way to go for ski socks. For hands there are many options as well. Mittens, gloves, and a hybrid of the two. Mitten glove hybrids are fantastic for warmth and dexterity. Your fingers fit directly into gloves which are encompassed in another layer of mitten. Unzip them to expose your gloved fingers if you need to have more control. For heads and faces, most people choose a beanie hat. Tight fitting and thick enough to protect your head from the stinging wind. Beanies work very well. In extreme temperatures you can use a balaclava, a covering that you pull over your head that leaves a smaller hole for your face. Now suit up and see you on the mountain.